How you doing ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, in his eighties and in between us. A lot of you have been asking me about uh, the PAP cards recently. Well, I wanted to let you know that I have been busy. Uh, so you'll have to uh, excuse me for the length of time it's got to get round to doing this. But I do have um, all new stuff ready. Okay. Uh, I've got the uh, PAP cards, which are slightly different now. I've got the face, face mask exempt cards, which are slightly different from the ones you saw the other week. And I've also got a leaflet, okay, which goes with each, like right? the face masks and the pap cards, which breaks things down a little bit more into a bit more detail. Now, I try to get everything onto an A5 sheet of paper, but there's just too much information. So it's an A4 sheet, which uh, double sided, which I'll be getting printed as well. Now, I want to be completely transparent with you. I've never tried to make a profit off of these things. Okay. And I'm not going to try now, by the way, that's not what this is about. What this is about is to explain to you what it's costing me so that you know why, uh, that I'm charging for, for it. Okay. Um, quite literally I I've made pennies on each one. Uh, and that's literally just from, uh, what's left over from postage. But I'm going to show you what I've done first of all. Okay, I think that's working. Right, so what you've got there is the new PAP cards. Now, obviously, on the front is just the logo still. On the inside, you've got a stop an account. Okay, so stop an account. I'm under no obligation to stay or answer any questions. You cannot search me or arrest me for refusing to answer your questions unless you have reason to believe I have been engaged in or am engaging in antisocial behaviour. This does not include refusal to engage with you and misusing Section 50 of the Police Reform Act. Stop and search. If you are stopping me for a stop and search, you must tell me why and for what offence you suspect me of. You may not search me to find an offence. If you can explain your reasonable suspicion, I will not resist a search, but I will record our interaction to ensure my rights are not breached. And on the back, vehicle stop. I'm under no obligation to speak to you, exit my vehicle or otherwise appease you in any way outside of what's required under the Road Traffic Act, unless I'm being detained or arrested. In both cases, you must be able to articulate your reason or suspicion and you may not search my vehicle to find a reason. <laughs> that information is directly off of uh, the Metropolitan Police website, although I've condensed it a little bit, all right, because I've put uh, more information on the leaflet that's going to come with this all right but that's the new pap card okay that explains uh, about your stop and search very briefly granted um the stop and account and also during a vehicle stop um the next thing that i've done or had done rather okay the next thing are the face mask exemption cards now on the front these are slightly different because on the old one that i had it said uh, it was the Universal Declaration on Bioethics and Human Rights, Article 6. On this one, there's not enough room on there to add that as well. So we've got face mask exemption. The government provides exemptions for people with certain mental or physical health conditions to avoid wearing face masks. I have a hidden disability. I'm under no obligation to disclose my condition. My rights are protected. Equality Act 2010, Section 29.5A, Provision of Services. Equality Act 2010, Section 13.1 direct discrimination please treat me with respect now those cards those particular cards are plastic okay they're like credit cards exactly the same as credit cards okay plastic credit card type things uh what else do we have let's move on this here although the you're not going to be able to see the writing very well on this one but you will in a minute these are well, this is the Police Abuse and Power Stay Safe Guide. It tells you about stop and search, stop and account. It tells you what the police must do at the bottom here. OK, so this is the go wisely. Um, and it's got about vehicle stop and search here as well. And also it's got some information on this top right hand side on the back about the coronavirus. 
down the bottom here it, it just explains that social distancing is guidance not regulation okay so there is some information there for you okay now if we move on to show you exactly what these cards look like sort of up close and personal so this is the back of the normal pap card okay i'm under no obligation to speak to you exit my vehicle or otherwise appease you in any way outside of what's required under the road traffic act unless i'm being detained or arrested in both cases i must be able to articulate or sorry, you must be able to articulate your reason or suspicion and you may not search my vehicle to find a reason Moving on, this is the inside statement for police. I'm under no obligation to stay or answer any questions. You cannot search me or arrest me for refusing to answer your questions unless you have reason to believe I have been engaged in or am engaging in antisocial behaviour. This does not include refusal to engage with you and misusing 50, Section 50 of the Police Reform Act. On the inside at the bottom, we've got stop and search. If you're stopping me for a stop and search, you must tell me why and for what offence you suspect me of. You may not search me to find an offence. If you can explain your reasonable suspicion, I won't resist a search, but I will record our interaction to ensure my rights are not abused. The face mask exemption, just a close up of the front. Of the back. And these are, or this is side A, so the front side of the Police Abuse and Bowers Stay Safe Guide. Okay, uh, plenty of information on there. For example, um, usually under stop and account, the police officer or PCSO does not have the power to force you to stay. You can't be searched or arrested just because you refuse to answer questions. Most of the time you have the legal right to refuse to answer and just walk away unless the police have reason to believe you've engaged in or are engaging in antisocial behaviour defined as behaviour like cause harassment, alarm or distress to a reasonable person, not to a police constable. So we've got some information on there which is going to be very helpful uh, and also on the back of that leaflet, um, again it gives you some information on vehicle stop and search, what you should do. Okay, for example, leave your window done up just enough to speak to the police or listen to them. Do not be tempted to lower your window. Do not be tempted to exit your vehicle. There is no law that says you must leave your vehicle to sit in theirs, so don't. Coronavirus information here, okay, tells you what the police or PCSO are able to do. Okay, so you know how to keep yourself safe. And then at the bottom, we've got social distancing is guidance, not regulation. So it just explains about face masks. Um, and explains about things like table service in restaurants and things like that, okay, when the regulations were amended. Uh, and it's got um, the information here as well under the Equality Act, Section 29.5A and Section 13.1 again, okay. So that is what we've got for you. Now, obviously, this costs me money. Um, however, as I say, I'm not trying to uh make money on this it's not what this is about so to let you know to give you an idea the pap cards okay the normal foldable pap cards which I've, i haven't got any to hand um are 10p each but they're being sold um as tens if you want five i still have to charge for 10 and that's to cover things like um postage so if you want one two three four five six seven eight nine or ten it's still going to cost you a pound all right um however postage is 70p so i've got to cover the cost of the postage and the envelope is 4p and again i'm just trying to be completely blunt with you and honest and, and upfront and transparent so in order to buy 10 it's going to cost one pound 74 okay all the, slightly more than that because of YouTube, uh, PayPal take a percentage. So that's why uh, I charge £2 for 10 cards, all right? Because that then covers the cost of the postage, it covers the, um, uh, the envelope, and it covers what PayPal take as well, all right? Um, and it just means that I'm not left out of pocket doing this. I'm not asking for any money for the time I've spent doing it. None of that at all. Okay, I'm doing it because I want to do it. Um, but just so you know and you're aware of what the situation is. 
the leaflets are 40p all right the leaflets are 40p i'm buying them in um uh, as a as a bulk uh but they're 40p each their color um uh, they're going to be on sort of glossy type paper all right so they last a little bit longer um you know a few splashes of rain on it for example and it's going to be okay whereas a normal bit of paper might the ink might run so um the leaflets are 40p um each the face mask cards cost me two pounds 24p each all right um so they're again they're two pound 24p um, but again, postage 70p. Um, I can only fit 10 pack cards in an envelope. Okay, so if you want more than 10, then it's 70p per 10 for postage or 74p per 10 for postage. Uh, the face mask exempt cards, I can only fit five in an envelope. Okay, so again, five of those, um, £2.24, um, 70p postage. Um, and an envelope for 4p okay so i'll put all the prices in the description anyway again this is what i'm paying uh i'm not asking you for anything more on top of that i just want to make sure that the costs are covered and that you get you know something that, that you've been asking for so one more time the cards are let's go back to this the cards are 10 pence each the face mask cards are £2.24 each and they're plastic credit card type and the leaflets are 40 pence each with all the information that you need for stop and search, stop and account, vehicle stop and search uh, and uh, some, some coronavirus rules as well, okay? And that's it. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean this to go on as long as it has, but again, I just want to make sure that I've covered everything. Uh, and again, I'm going to put the, uh, the cost of what I'm paying in the description. Um, then you'll have to work out what it is um, that you want. Uh, how many of each, for example, whether it's going to cost you two envelopes um, and two stamps or whether it'll fit in one, for example. Um, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. I will, of course, get back to you and let you know how much it will cost if you're struggling to work it out from the information in the description other than that thank you very much for watching i love every single one of you uh, remember you don't have to do this you don't have to buy anything okay um the, the you know it's a, it's a few pence that i make on it it all helps um but the the thing that this does is it helps to spread the word of the channel more than anything else okay um and by bringing people in uh, you know, you might show people or give people one of the cards, for example, they're going to see that they're going to go, oh, so this police abusing powers are going to come check it out. Hopefully they're going to stick around as a subscriber and that will help me long term. Um, so that's it. Anyway, thank you again. Much appreciated. Um, enjoy your evening and I'll see you next time. Good night, all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, hit that subscribe button up the top there. If you haven't already, become a subscriber. That is support enough. Share the videos, comment, like, it all helps. If you're looking for something else to watch, up top there is my latest video. Down the bottom there is a video that YouTube recommends for you.